Good morning and welcome to MG Chasey. Well, it's that time of year when I need to give the carpets a freshen up, so uh, I'm going to get out my carpet shampoo. I've got a rug doctor that I've borrowed, but actually uh, the instructions today work equally well, whatever your brand. My first tip is try and make sure that whatever brand carpet shampoo you've got, that you do buy their detergent. It, you can buy cheaper ones but honestly it's hassle and the dilution ratios are different and you won't get the right results so if, if you've got a Bissell get the Bissell shampoo if you've got a rug doctor get the rug doctor shampoo so the first job you have to do is clear away as much as the furniture you don't have to empty the room because honestly how dirty can a carpet be that's underneath your chairs or sofa so it's really the walkway areas that get the worst Next thing is I'm going to get the Dyson out there and make sure that we've given it a really good vacuum. You do that before and the day after you've used your shampooer. And you can see a bit here where the table has been. Try and make sure that you, you can get that up a bit. Just pull up that pile back as best you can, otherwise it's not going to wash very well. I'm going to just use my foot here and then vacuum it. If that doesn't work then generally do it with a sort of scrubbing brush where you need to get the carpet pile back. Right, I think it's time to get started. As well. Now I've made some of these videos before, this one's a bit updated, two, and there are two three, questions three, that I get asked the most. The first one is, how fast do you go when you're walking? And we're going backwards with this. And the second one, which I'll leave right to the end of the video, is what does the water look like that comes out of these machines after you've shampooed your carpet? Now whichever machine you have, whatever brand you have, they work in the same way. You have a clean tank, which has got the water and the detergent. And you've got a waste tank here, which is the water that's come out of your carpet. And you can see the colour of that. Uh, and we'll tip that out at the end of the video and you can see what was actually in it. On my model, this is the clean water tank, but actually it doesn't obviously just have clean water, this is what has the detergent in, and you need to make sure you make a reasonable job of measuring this out as per the instructions of your machine. If you get too much in, there's a danger you can bleach your carpet. If you don't have enough detergent in, then you really won't get the carpet clean and certainly won't get rid of any smell. So most of them have something like this that shows you how much you need to put in. Once you've put your detergent in, then it's just top it up with clean water, tap water up to the fill line. So when you put the water in there, don't go too fast, otherwise you will create too much froth and it'll all just come out the top. And if you do about half hot water from your hot tap and half water from your cold tap, that seems to give you the best results, again, irrespective of what type of machine. You don't want boiling water in there, but for it to be a little bit warm, it seems to enable the detergent to work that a little bit better. Yeah, this is quite a big job, this, all we have to do, so time for a quick coffee break. So in almost every carpet shampoo system, you'll find they work in the same way uh, in the rock dot today. You see you've got your tank at the back that's got the detergent and the water that's going to be sprayed in. The middle one's a carry handle, and the front one is the tank where all the dirty water is vacuumed up from. So. The machines spray at the back and they then suck up quite quickly at the front. This is important because you don't want the carpet to get too wet, otherwise it will take a long time to dry. It should only take about 6 to 12 hours to dry. But all these machines, when you're using them, you walk backwards. Now I'll show you the pace that you need to walk back with your carpet shampoo. It doesn't matter if it's not this particular model or brand it's the same and you're taking a very slow walk backwards much slower than if you were just vacuuming Now, many machines, if you've got a high traffic area or you've got an area in front of a door that looks really dirty, then you will find you've got basically a boost. Uh, the rug doctor has this button here that you twist 
and then it actually puts extra spray so you get two lots of detergent going into that area so you don't want it on too long as you'll use up all your water and detergent very quickly and also it does tend to make that area a little bit wetter but you will find most of the machines have this sort of facility so for your high traffic areas we've got trodden in dirt rather than going back and forth back and forth back and forth switch on your super boost spray or your boost spray for that area and don't forget to switch it off when you do the rest of the carpet so there's a couple more tips if you are going to have an area that's really in the corner if you think this machine as it goes in then the front is only vacuuming the liquid is coming out the back then use a hand trigger spray to put some of the solution just in the front and then you can just vacuum it up with your carpet shampoo in the normal way and you're going to come back once with it it's a bit noisy do it with it on and then let go of the trigger here so you're not doing any more spray and then go over it one or two more times just in the vacuum mode to get as much of that dirty water out of the carpet as you can so just before you start using the machine make sure you've got windows open on both sides of the building this will give a draft which will take any moisture out of the carpet quickly so i do the boxy difficult bits first and then when those are done then i do the big stripes of cleaning right across the room um, i tend to do this barefoot uh, that's because one you don't want dirty shoes or socks can leave uh, marks on a slightly wet carpet but also doing a barefoot i can just tell if there's an area that feels a bit over damp that i need to go over uh, with the carpet shampooer just in vacuum mode again and see if i can get a bit more moisture out before we let nature take its course and let it dry now you need to keep an eye on both tanks this is obviously the one with the detergent in and i've only done i don't know five minutes and it's already nearly empty so i need to refill that and then at the front of course you can see the exciting bit which is just how much muck has come out of your carpet and you'll be absolutely flabbergasted particularly if it's the first time you've done this um, and then this obviously needs to be emptied at the same time so that you don't cause an overfill or any leak out of your particular machine so keep an eye on both tanks about every five minutes now in all the manufacturers videos it's always this bit that they focus on is pouring out the dirty water and sort of making you feel guilty your carpet is going to look like this we tend to have a no shoes policy but with kids and stuff everything just builds up in the bottom end of that carpet you know no matter what you do so don't be shocked when you see this this is why we're shampooing our carpet a couple of times a year just to keep it nice and clean you should also prolong the life of the carpet by doing this as well and then my bowl it's almost like oil isn't it it's just uncanny but quite satisfying in a strange sort of way it's so now the second day and the carpet's all dried so today we need to give them a full vacuum so i'm going to be using my trusty dyson today and you need to take time and you will find a lot more comes out of the carpet than normal it's been loosened by the detergent by in my case the rug doctor So one of the best bits is looking, what did you get out of your carpet? It's my most frequent question. And you can see what you're left with there is lots of sand and deep carpet debris. That the normal vacuum doesn't remove. <laughs> 